So, Shakari Richardson, of course, she is unfortunately out of the women's 100 meters. She ran 11.31 seconds to finish fifth in her heat and way, way down overall in the 100 meters. That's, of course, the biggest surprise and everyone is, of course, talking about it, but I don't think that this was a choke or anything like that. What I personally think this is, who knows, right? But I personally think that this was Shakari Richardson doing something similar to what Sharika Jackson did at the Tokyo Olympics last year in the 200. Remember when Sharika Jackson and also Lane Thompson did it, but she qualified. Sharika Jackson just kind of cruised through the 200 meter heats thinking she didn't have to put too much effort in and then she unfortunately didn't qualify through. That's what I suspect might have been happening with Shakira Richardson here. She, she didn't have anything different, right? She doesn't usually get a fast start. She usually comes on stronger later on. I just don't think she noticed and had a real good awareness of where she was relative to the rest of the field. So we're not gonna see her in the women's 100 meters. I thought she was a lot to make the team. I think everyone kind of did considering how she really has been running over the season, but she's gonna be in the 200 meters. Who knows what she's gonna do there? I think she's still in good form and she might be able to contend for a spot, but we'll see what happens with Shakira Richardson in that 200 um, if she decides to run it later on in the weekend. But we cannot dismiss what else happened in the women's 100 meters. Aaliyah Hobbs managed to run 10.88 seconds to win her heat and to be the top 100 meter time overall. That is a huge performance for her. Remember, she just ran 10.83 seconds to set a personal best at the New York City Grand Prix just a couple weeks ago, right? Also behind Aaliyah Hobbs was Tamara Clark. Tamara Clark ran 10.94 seconds. She got second place in her heat. She finished third place overall. She set a huge personal best. Her previous personal best was 10.96 seconds all the way back in April of 2021 when she was still at Alabama. I think this bodes very well for Tamara Clark. She you know, we'll, we'll still see what happens with the team. And then of course, Fanny Chateri, she came in second place overall, winning her heat. Um, she managed to run 10.9, uh, seconds, I think it was, but you know, getting that 10, nine, she ran really, really well. So we're going to see what happens going into the semifinals tomorrow. Of course, Shakira Richardson is out, but we cannot forget about that men's hundred meters. You know, uh, Trayvon Bramell won his heat, Christian Coleman won his heat, but they both had headwinds. We saw Fred Curley run 9.83 seconds and he was easing up at the end, right? He truly ran this as a heat. Fred Curley is of course in 10, seven, in a um, 9.7 second shape. We're gonna, I don't know what he's gonna put down tomorrow. Fred Curley is in the shape of his life. He is the hottest 100, 100 meter sprinter right now. I do think Trayvon Bramell might still be able to get the win, but <laughs> Fred Curley is a lock for the team at this point. Um, Trayvon Bramell looked good. Christian Coleman looks good, but of course he has the buy. Um, so definitely look out for a lot of guys in that uh, men's 100 meters, and then we'll see what happens in the women's 100 meters. But just wanted to recap the 100. Shakira Richardson is out, but Tamara Clark, Aaliyah Hobbs, Fred Curley, I think those are the big stories that everyone needs to look out for. So keep tuning in. We're going to be definitely diving in with a lot more to come at US Championships.